Hi, Bob Sayo. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make interactions in the tile map. Uh, someone requested it, so and uh, I saw here, uh, if you see this icon, it says that they publicly subscribed, and that means a lot to me. So I think it's a good way to pay them back. Uh, let's open up Gido. So uh, I, this is the tile map from the last video. I'm going to in this new scene, I'm going to control A, add a tile map layer node, uh, not the tile map node, it's deprecated. No, let's add the tile map layer node. Now, what we're going to do is uh, let's go here. It's the tile set. Let's create a new tile set. Let's click on it and go to the tile set section. I'm just going to drag one of the frames from the animation I used in the last video, and uh, it should work. Yeah. I'm going to automatically cut into 16 by 16 tiles. Okay, I'm um, just going to do is I'm going to go to tile map area and select it all. So, and select the brush tool and just going to place it right here. Okay, I'm going to the rendering and set the filter to nails so it looks like pixel art. Now, select this area okay so our talent map is set up let's just close this right now so what we want to do is set up interactions let's create a script on the tile map itself and create here as well and reference the tile map just going to create it on itself and i already have created a tile script let's just remove everything and let's let me teach you from the beginning so Let's go ahead and create a function. I'm going to call it a, okay, it's a function. It's going to be a physics process function. A physics process. You can use the simple process function. I just like it somehow. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is create a variable. I'm going to call it mouse position equal. I'm going to get the get uh, underscore global. Uh, actually, you can just do local, so it tells the position of the mouse according to the scene. Let's go local, get local mouse position, and it could be good. Now, what I'm going to do is get the location of the mouse on the tiles, uh, because we are working with tiles. How do we do that? I'm going to do is uh, mouse, okay, mouse, pos mouse and it's called position. So, uh, okay, map position. So it, there's a function for that inherits from the tile map class. Uh, so make sure, uh, uh, like, uh, if you're using it in other script to reference the tile map, like that. Uh, it's in the tile map script, so I can just directly call it. It's called uh, it's called local to map, local to map. It takes local position of something and convert it to the position of that thing on the tile map uh, via local because the tile map is present in the local scene uh, if you understand that so uh, i'm going to give it the mouse position it's already local uh, or if it's the you go going for global mouse position let's go for global global mouse position you can just do to to local and just those type mouse position just so you know it's useful to know these things so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, since now uh, uh, what uh, oh my god I'm not able to speak so what is gonna happen is in game when I'm gonna hover my mouse on this dial it's gonna give me the coordinates on which my mouse is uh, if you see here Somewhere here, this should be the coordinates of the tiles. Wait a minute. Uh, it should take me a second to find it. They are, so they are somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are right here. You can see uh, this tile is 0, 0. This is 0, 1, 0. This is 2, 0. And this is 0, 1. So just like that it goes like this. For hexagon tiles, uh, it's kind of the same. It gives you the position in hexagon order. 
uh, it doesn't matter it works the same for everything so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, what we want to achieve is whenever I click let's select what we style uh, if I click this guy's hat this style uh, this style wherever it is um, if it's placed multiple time wait, wait a minute I'm just gonna go and place it one more time wherever like how, no matter where it is placed whenever I click where this style exists it should turn into bread okay let's go with that now uh, what I'm gonna do is let's go to the script and let's interact with via click so when we click not just hover so if I'm gonna create a statement a statement if input 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 dot dot is action just press it's just for one time click and I've created a uh, with action uh, it's for mouse click left click uh, you can see it right here project settings and input map it's I've created a new action you can name write the name of the action like mouse mouse two let's call it mouse two and add it and then you can just click here to then you click here to let it auto detect the move the input and okay and now it's the same let's close it now even I can just use mouse two here to both have the same input setup okay so what I'm gonna do is add this parentheses thing and now let's put it inside the statement so all the code is inside the statement so so whenever I click the left click it's gonna check for the mouse global position and then it's gonna convert it to the position of like the tiles like the position of mouse according to the tile map so uh, what it's, it's gonna return is the position of the mouse on the tile map now what we're gonna do is we want to know the position of the tile. let me explain so which we just want to know when we click which tile are we clicking because we want to check if we're clicking the hat tile how do we that do that uh, each tile has a atlas id this has like when you add multiple tile map every tile has its source id all the whole tile map has a source id then each tile itself has a atlas id if you hover over a tile it's it shows you all of the properties so it's source is zero because it's from the first one tile map so its source is zero its atlas coordinates is zero zero and alternative we're gonna learn about alternative in just a bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check which what is the atlas coordinate of this one it's seven four so in the condition here uh, first we're gonna check what is the atlas coordinate of the tile we click so uh, I'm gonna do is atlas at uh, at less chords equal get atlas coordinates and on up position so this function takes our position in the space uh, in the like a uh, grid like this map position of uh, in vector 2 i which is for like this tile map uh, in grid position it takes a grid position and tells you which tile is placed on that particular grid I'm going to give it this mouse position on the map and it's going to give us the if we want to print it out we can print out but we just get it I know that so now I know it's a bit complicated because I'm really bad at explaining things so what's going to happen is whenever I click on any tile uh, during the game is running for example I click here it's gonna give us two outputs first it's gonna tell us where our mouse is in the grid in the tile map in this grid in this one so where it is 
and then it's going to tell us which of the tiles from this tile map are placed here. For example, for this one, it's going to tell us that this tile is placed here. See when I click here, the tile lights up down here. The same as that, it's going to tell us which tile is placed there. Then, what we're going to do is we're just going to check if that tile's atlas coordinates are, let's see the atlas coordinates of this guy, it's 7, 4. So, let's go to the script. So, we're going to check if atlas coordinates equal equal vector 2i, because it's a vector 2i, we need to specify the type and add a parentheses, like the brackets, and 7 and 4. Then, if the, it's this hat thing, then we're going to set cell, set cell. So it's a universal function. It is used to set a, like the, uh, the tile at a certain position. It takes a couple of uh, like parameters, set cell, set, okay, uh, set cell. Now, first it takes the coordinates, the position in tile map where it's going to, the tile is going to be placed. So, which is the position it's going to take? It's going to be this at this position, the position where we click. Okay, so the position where we click, then we need the source ID. Uh, it's the source ID of the tile we are going to place on that, that this position. Uh, this is the source ID the ID of this tile. Uh, if we go to any of these tiles, it tells us the source ID. It's zero. We just put zero. Then we give it the atlas coordinates. Uh, the atlas coords. The atlas coordinates are like the coordinates of the tile that we are going to place on that position. Uh, so these, these are seven, four as well. Seven, four. And alternative. You might be thinking, why would we want to place? Well, it's not just simple 7, 4. We need to add vector to i because it's vector to i, vector to i, and bracket just like we did before, and add a bracket and 7, comma 4. And let's close this thing. Uh, where it is. Let's see. Okay. I'm not able to find the keys on my keyboard. So, uh, now, last thing it, it needs is an alternative. Now, what happens is sometimes you have a tile and you just want a variation of it in a slightly different color, slightly different rotation. So, Gido lets you create alternative tiles for it. So, you don't have to put like same, you don't have to like create another one in the our program. I'm going to create an alternative tile for this one. Click on it, right click when you are in the tile set menu. Let's click, go here and light, right click on it and hit create alternative. Uh, it's going to appear right here and go to select mode to select it and now you can change some properties about it. Like you can flip it horizontally, flip it, flip it vertically, it transpose for some reason and texture region you can change a bunch of things i'm going to just modulate it to make it red make it red okay it's turned red so the whole tile here has now turned red it's an alternative for this this tile it has the same coordinates as this tile like the tile we use uh, right here it has the same coordinates if you see the properties but it has an alternative ID which we can put right here to tell which one of the alternative of this coordinate tile we want to put so one now what we are expecting is when we run the game let's turn off the grid it looks ugly so when we run the game and we click on any of these tiles these should turn into red tiles. Let's run it and test the theory. Click this and it doesn't work. Astonishingly. 
Uh, it, it does work. Uh, uh, it works when we lift our mouse, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what's the problem. Oh, I know, I know. I think I know what's the problem. Uh, let's go to the tile map. Okay, so what we are checking is the Atlas coordinates. It's the 7 4, and we are setting the cell of, of the Atlas coordinates. We should be giving it position of the this mouse position map. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I messed up. So it should we should give it the position where we clicked on the map. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a bit dumb. Let's run it. And, and it should work. And yes, it's working pretty nice. I think it's been a long, long video. Really long video, I think. Should be about more than 30 minutes. Oh, it's 15. Not too long, I think. And that's it for today's video then. Goodbye.